Alright, uh, this is a quick tutorial on modifying links on your Press to Shop footer, which, if I just navigate to Press to Shop through what I use for navigating around, at the bottom of your default Press to Shop, obviously, you have these links, and more than likely, you're going to want to change them. And there's, there's actually three ways of doing this. Because for some reason it's you can't do it all in one, you have to go through three different processes for certain links. So the first one is we're just basically gonna go into the module itself. And the module module for managing them is called Footer links, and you'll basically see that two of these are ticked and all of them are not ticked. So if I just navigate back, so terms and conditions and about us are two links that I um, they're there because of the module. So if you untick them they'll disappear off your bottom menu so now you can see I've only got five links so to get rid of the other three are actually depending on which links are actually in the CMS bit we'll go to tools CMS and just by comparing what's on the bottom to what's here alright so I've got that mixed up because we've ticked them all off on that um, module we don't need to have, worry about any of them coming on regardless here. So the only ones left are the links that are hard coded into the module. So to get rid of them or change them, we're going to have to go into the actual module template. So. The module for the footer is called module various links, so we'll just open up module various links in TPL. And if I just go back to here, you can see there's five links, and if I go back to template, you can see that they're all list items, so these are four of the links, and then your last link is here. So, and the last link, which is separate from all the others, with this part which loads the links from the module which you custom make in CMS. This one's the Powered by Presto Shop. So, any of these hard coded links you can just change or delete simply by just cutting and then saving it. So, I've just deleted the first four links. And if I if you look now, before I refresh, we've still got the five links. If I just click refresh, we only have the powered by Presto Shop now. And we can just simply reverse that just by putting them back in. Oops. <coughs> Alright, so now they're back in, and that's it basically. So, if you want to add a link that's going to show up there, you just put a title for it. So, let's say link test, and then just put a URL which is basically 
everything in um, lowercase and all spaces are replaced with a dash. Save. And then we'll go back to the module, which is in the tools section. Oh, sorry, the blocks section. Go to configure once again. And you can see it showed up. Ticket, update. And then once you refresh the page, there it is. So that's it basically. I'm hoping to cover a few new tutorials soon because it's been quite a while. So just keep watch the subscriptions for some more coming in.